In the previous issue, number 20 in the Darth Vader comic series, we saw Darth Sidious reward his apprentice Vader with an unexpected gift. The royal starship of Padme Amidala, the deceased wife of Anakin Skywalker. Although it's hard to judge from Vader's silent demeanor, I'd say the gift went over about as well as it could given the circumstances. Nonetheless, it inspired Vader to ask for a second gift from his master, a world of his own where he would reign supreme. Once Sidious accepted his request, Vader made it clear that only one world would be sufficient, the planet of his greatest defeat, Mustafar. As dramatic of a request that would be, it would ultimately pale in comparison to the bizarre vision Vader would see while traveling to Mustafar upon the Nubian royal starship. In this video expose, I will describe this vision in the recent issue number 21 of the Vader comic and give a few explanations regarding the potential meaning behind it. Issue 21 starts with Vader aboard Padme's former starship traveling through hyperspace, which was visibly very similar to the time he traveled to Mustafar to bleed his Kuiper crystal. Present in what appears to be the throne room of the starship is a figure that clearly resembles a young Anakin as seen in The Phantom Menace. Quickly, the boy turns to reveal not the face that we knew in Episode 1, but a bizarre and deformed face that is almost equal parts Anakin and Vader. We then see that the boy resembling a young Anakin has turned to face Vader, looking upward at the Sith Lord, and Vader in turn looking down towards him. It then becomes clear that the bizarre image is one conjured by Vader himself, as he's snapped out of it by Colonel Bren, who informs the Sith Lord that they're approaching Mustafar. The vision is noteworthy enough simply for how eerie it is. But it isn't that bizarre given where Vader is at the time. It's only natural that being in Padme's royal starship again would conjure memories and visions from the time when he was first on board. And just like we discussed recently, regarding a Legends vision Vader had of Padme, wherein the figure he once knew her to be became mixed with her sad current reality, which was that of death and decay, the same could be said for Vader in this vision. Vader saw an image that was a mix of the boy from Tatooine as he remembered, and the sad reality he lives as Vader. There's also an interesting connection between the bizarre image and what appears to be Vader's interest in obtaining Mustafar, at least as it's been portrayed so far in the comic. As everyone around Vader wants to know why of all places he chose Mustafar, it's his master Sidious who finally gets the answer from the Sith Lord. As explained by Vader, he chose Mustafar because he still remembered the power he was able to touch when using the dark side locus upon the planet to bleed his kyber crystal, which we saw in an earlier issue in the series. As Vader described it, he saw deeper into the force than ever before, and believed the dark side locus provided possibilities that could only be achieved there. Immediately, Sidious caught the meaning his apprentice seemed to be implying, and understood that there was a desire in Vader to try, in some way, to connect with Padme. It wasn't a bad conclusion to make, considering that when Vader saw deeply into the Force, there was a vision of Padme there as well. But Sidious goes so far as to tell Vader, Perhaps your Padme does await you on Mustafar. Perhaps the dark side will bring her to you. Go. I think one way or another, you will learn a great deal. This is an interesting and very possible position for Vader given the following. It's a period when there are no obvious Jedi for him to hunt and distract him. He just concluded a mission where a former Jedi Master wasn't only happily married but had a child. He seemingly thwarted two star-crossed lovers within the Inquisitorius. And he was given Padme's former royal starship. All of this in a matter of days. All of this is to say that it's entirely possible that Vader's Mustafar experiment at this point revolves around a desire to connect with Padme again, wherein he's divided between his current life as Vader and his former life as Anakin. The bizarre vision he has on board the starship could be a depiction of exactly that, a representation of Vader's proximity to Anakin at this point. I'll have a lot more to say about Lord Maumon in a video later today, and I don't want to speculate too much about an image that is really more interesting than anything else, but I'm not sure we can dismiss the mask of the ancient Sith Lord ominously appearing in the background. Although we've really only known the mask to possess individuals, one has to wonder if the bizarre vision was in any way influenced by the powerful dark side artifact. 
Again, we'll have more on Mom and later, but regardless, the vision Vader has in the most recent issue of the Vader comic is one that stands out, and works well given the Phantom Menace connections that have been seen over the last few issues. So there we have it, Darth Vader's bizarre vision of young Anakin aboard Padme's royal starship. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. If not for me... For Taciturn Tendencies...